today three two one today i'm gonna be talking about some mistakes that you guys cannot make here in nba 2k 23 my team you guys have been showing insane love on a bunch of tip videos and i've been meaning to make this video so i do apologize it has been a couple days since like i gave you guys like something that i like i've been really like wanting to give you guys like you know what i mean like and i know it sounds weird but like i've genuinely wanted to make this video and i kept kind of either forgetting or i kept getting sidetracked but regardless though i want to show you guys some mistakes in this game you guys cannot make and hopefully you guys have not already made you guys love the trophy case one so so let's go ahead and make one about the entire game mode if this video helps you guys out smash that like button and if you guys are new hit that subscribe button and let's get right into it so okay that's how long i've been sitting here as my screen almost just tried to turn off on me but first things first i want to start off on this screen because there's something in this screen right here that a lot of people overlook and i don't really know why somebody actually brought it up in my stream and i'm going to talk about it really quick and that is going to be the exhibitions make sure you guys do these now the thing is about this, right, is that people say, okay, well, Bio, why would I do these? Their rewards really aren't that great. And you guys can see sometimes they do take a very long time to do, right? Like these ones are seven and a half hours each. Actually, I think they were as much as eight hours. I did them while I was live on Twitch. And I did end, uh, obviously, a couple minutes ago to record some videos for you guys. But yeah, first things first, these exhibi exhibitions are really good. And I honestly think that, you know, people overlook these for how good they could really be. So I can't show you guys, you know, who I send here or whatever, but it actually doesn't matter. So don't be thrown off by that little like amethyst glow. You guys don't have to throw amethyst in this set. They do have certain requirements, but most of the stuff is actually pretty easy to go ahead and kind of, you know, throw some cards in. You could literally throw golds in here and you get the same rewards no matter what. It doesn't matter what you guys throw in. You're still going to get, you know, pretty solid stuff. And again, Again, people may say well bio i'm only getting like 250 mt or i'm getting two tokens or i'm getting a badge pack or i'm getting whatever the case is literally it is free and you don't have to do anything all you well, i mean like you don't have to play anything you literally just throw the players in and you get these rewards so make sure you guys keep up the date on these i mean and they do give again free packs free rewards and everything like that i was actually able to get two badge packs out of them which you guys could see which i'm going to be talking about pretty soon here okay you guys can see right here it actually works out two of the badges that i got because i got two different badge packs two of them that i got actually just sold for 600 mt which again 600 more mt for doing nothing so that kind of leads us into our second mistake here that i really don't want you guys to make hey guys if you guys need any online or offline grinding be sure to hit up rose nba 100 legit and reliable the link to his twitter will be in the description down below so be sure to go hit him up now a lot of what people do in this mode is that they always overlook the simplest things in my team, right? Now, let's go ahead and talk about the daily challenges here. I obviously can't show you guys because I don't have any. Well, I have to show you guys here. Um, but yeah, so four out of four daily challenges, cool, whatever. They're super easy to complete, right? So win two triple that offline games, two steals with a small forward in a game, apply a shoe to a player, and acquire a badge from the auction house. Now, I'm going to be referring to these dailies about three things here that are stuff that you guys just can't miss. One, obviously, do your XP with these 500 XP for doing literally the most simple stuff. It adds up. So trust me, don't skip over your dailies. Please, whatever you do, just don't. It's actually 550 XP too. So make sure you guys do it. Two, the thing about dailies is that these actually always lock in for something pretty nice. Today was a token. It is what it is. But there's been days so far that you guys actually are able to complete the daily challenges and that lock in for a trophy pack. So if you guys are passing up on trophy packs, I don't know what to tell you. It's literally RNG with some of these rewards. So get the best chance you guys can at getting some of this stuff. Now, the third thing, like I said, acquire a badge from the auction house. Any other day of the week, th these badges, some of the, like, the worst ones are selling for anywhere between three to 400 MT. So you guys can see nothing up for 500 MT so far, nothing up for 550 MT so far, and nothing up for 600 MT so far. So don't miss out on this. I mean, like, and you never know. People just lob up these badges anyway, but these are badges that really don't do anything that you could literally be selling for 600 MT. So even though, you know, again, these exchanges, different stuff or whatever, they might not sell for all that much. You guys are going to see here, 1200 MT, every other, um, every other badge that I just sold was 1200 MT. And it's, it adds up. It legitimately adds up. And there's still a ton of M or badges that I can go through and sell, which I'm going to. I kind of wanted to just prove a point, though, as I was, you know, making this video and everything like that. So I'm going to go through and clear out my badges. Today's a great day to do that. So whenever you guys see on your badge screen here, oh, okay, to either buy a shoe, to buy a shoe colorway, to buy badges, whatever it is, make sure you guys check the market because there's a ton of hidden value that does actually involve the market. 
Next up on my list is something that I feel like I've talked about already in a few videos, but I still want to reiterate it in this video as well. Draft mode, okay? Draft mode is super underrated. The prizes that you guys get in here are really good. And I'm not just talking about the Diamond Iguodala, but the board itself gives you a ton of tokens, a ton of MT, and just a ton of rewards in general. But the reason why I'm telling you guys to not overlook this is just, for instance, looking at my team here, we have Marcus Smart, Ben Wallace, and I forget. I think the third one is Zion, I want to say. I believe the third one is Zion. But my point is, is that the players you get out of draft mode actually do count towards your XP. So if you guys are getting intensity players, make sure you guys are getting the XP done for this. I was originally going to go ahead and save my draft board uh, or my, you know, VC that I actually had from the pre-order stuff. I was going to go ahead and save that for the next... Um, set of players but we're gonna hit level 40 before uh friday comes out anyway so i'm not stressing out about it at all and if we don't we still have to win the weekend stuff which same thing actually make sure you guys do the win the weekend stuff as well tons of really good rewards for instance last weekend to complete win the weekend you actually got a free intensity pack so if you guys are wanting free packs in my team like this is the way to go so again take advantage of draft get the xp done without having to pick up any of these like insanely expensive cards like we're in two weeks into the my into the year already and there is some insane value on some of these cards and that's actually gonna like walk us right into our next thing that we are gonna be going ahead and talking about so pink diamond staff let's just take a look he's going for 300k right now with 16 minutes left this card has been selling consistently for over 400,000 mt which is absurd okay i don't know who is spending that but i, I apparently people are and that's coming from one of the biggest Steph fans you'll probably ever find Dominique Wilkins, again, same thing. He's going for over 100K. And the final other one that I want to talk about is Blake Griffin right here. Actually, no, I lied too. So Blake is going for around 145, whatever. And then you have John ja Morant, who's going for 134. But both of these guys are still going up in price because they're obviously there's still a lot of time left. So there's a lot of value going on with these cards. And I'm here to tell you guys, don't waste your MT on these cards. I know a lot of you guys are trying to be like, well, Pyle, how do I compete with the best teams if I don't have the best cards? There are so many times I can tell you guys that I faced somebody with a budget team and they were 10 times better than somebody with a God squad. And that literally could be you guys as well. It's all about using players that you guys like. So for instance here, like I said, we're sitting around 400K for Pink Diamond Steph. Let's take a look at Diamond Steph here. I actually didn't know Diamond Steph wasn't a buy now anymore. That is insane. Again, kind of makes you think, again, like what I'm telling you guys to do here, same thing could go for me. Again, Diamond Steph being over 100K, kind of insane. I love Steph, but you can almost get that exact same value out of a guy like Amethyst Steph, who the price is so much lower. Yes, he's not going to have those badges, but you know what? He's going to have the same animations and the same jumper. So if you can green your shots, don't worry about having this absurdly high, you know, card. So let's just take a look here. I mean, you have four Hall of Fame badges to two. I mean, Steph has, uh, that's got to be one that people put on him, right? Yeah, I was going to say, that has to be. I just saw Aerial Wizard, and I was like, there's no shot. There's literally zero shot. So you have Catch and Shoot here on the Amethyst one, on the Diamond one. Yes, there's some badges, like Deadeye does help, Slippery Off Ball, and they are pretty good. And then again, you're looking at 22 to 15 badges. But you know what? This Steph, he has Gold Deadeye, Gold Green Machine, Gold Limitless Range. Guard Up is really good. So if they don't stick a hand up, you're still going to be able to green. Mismatch is excuse me mismatches on him ant is still on here blinders still on here claymore still on here so there's a lot of really good badges that are still on steph even as an ammy he even still has quick first step and everything so don't waste your mt don't go crazy spending all your mt and like you know waste it in cards when you can take that mt and build up your full team without having to worry about you know running out of your you know mt in itself blake griffin is the other only example that i really wanted to make here i'll be honest i actually totally forgot jaw came out blake griffin though again you're looking at around 200k for blake this man right here you could pick up his sapphire for like 14k it probably went up a little bit but still do the evo and you have yourself a blake a better version of blake griffin in my opinion he plays better defense he grabs more rebounds maybe he doesn't dunk as well but he's still knocked down his shots super easy to green so just don't waste your MT on a lot of these pink diamonds and stuff like that. It's really not worth it. Now, this is going to be the final tip of the video. So do me a favor, guys. Two things. One, if you guys have any other tips, comment them down below. Help each other out. And two, I do. I, I am starting a new No Money Spend series. The ep first episode dropped yesterday. And yeah, I want you guys to check that out, man. It's an average Joe series where we play an hour a day. And that is literally it. So make sure you guys go check that out. Um, but let's get back into this, though, and talk about the final mistake of this video. Now, this is really important, okay? The NBA Series 1 collections are super important. You guys can see, there's been a lot of tokens that have been put into these collections already so far for me. I mean, we have, what, three, six, we have eight 
Yeah, we have eight teams locked in, one more away from locking in the box. I mean, there's a lot of tokens, like I said, that go into this. And the reason why is that these obviously are needed for the trophy cases. So I want you guys to do me a favor. There's two separate things I'm going to talk about. One, I've said this in another video, so I'm going to keep this part short. But make sure you guys are buying players towards your own team. Like, towards your teams that are for your trophy case lock-in. You guys can see here, the trophy case I'm going for is the Pacific Division. We already have the Warriors one locked in. The Lakers, we already have the Lakers locked in for a reason. The Sacramento Kings, we have the Kings one locked in. The Los Angeles Clippers, we already have the Clippers one locked in. And finally, the Suns, we have that one locked in as well. And now again, I've spent tokens on other things, but make sure that you guys are doing what you need to do to get your divisions done. Don't be just buying random teams and random players. Like if you need them for your team, fine. But there's going to be players every week that get added in in two separate promos that I feel like you can kind of pick from them rather than needing to get players from the token market. Now, with that being said, tokens in itself, I want you guys to truly make sure you guys are saving your tokens if you guys don't have to. Because right now in the token market, there's only the players. But we've already seen where we have been getting that trophy player packs. Now, next time, I feel like they're going to raise the price. I just have a feeling. The first time, they were one token each. The second time, I think they're going to be like three or five tokens a piece. So make sure you guys are saving your tokens because those trophy pieces pieces are going to be more valuable than getting these players so save your tokens don't spend them if you don't have to work your way up through collector level but like i said don't go crazy and kind of screw yourself out of these different trophy case or, um yeah these different trophy case pieces i mean you guys can see right here like this is like a rare franchise accolade like this is important to get so make sure you guys again are going to be smart and get that people are at larry already but there's literally no rush to get larry trust me so Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And yeah, peace.